All right, here's the partial fractions integral involving long division. And the way you can tell you have to use long division is that the degree of the numerator is not less than the degree of the denominator. So this is an improper fraction. And for partial fractions decomposition to work, you've got to start with a proper fraction. So we're going to use long division first. And this one doesn't actually require much of anything after the long division. So there's my long division setup. And then I'm going to guess from the highest powers of x down what do I multiply by to get this quadratic thing? And distribute an x over it. I get x squared minus 3x. Subtract. And I get negative 5x minus negative 3x. That's negative 2x. And then my constant term will be a negative 2. When I distribute that, I get negative 2x plus 6. When I subtract, I get negative 4. So my remainder is negative 4. Now what that actually means is that when I do this division, I'm going to have a negative 4 over x minus 3 left over. So let's rewrite the integral. It's the integral from 0 to 2 of x minus 2 minus 4 over x minus 3 dx. And in fact, there's no formal partial fractions proposal required here because every one of these terms has a guessable antiderivative. This last one from the remainder is just a natural log kind of thing. So I get 1 half x squared minus 2x minus 4, natural log, absolute value, x minus 3. This is all evaluated from 0 to 2. When I plug in my upper limit, out of the 1 half x squared, I'm going to get a 2. Out of the negative 2x, I'm going to get a negative 4. And then I have a minus 4 natural log absolute value of 2 minus 3. That's negative 1 in there, but the absolute value gives me a 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0. Then I'm going to subtract what I get in the lower limit. And the first two terms are really easy. When I replace x with 0, I get 0. So those are gone. And then I have a negative 4 natural log absolute value of 0 minus 3. And of course, the natural log of a negative is not defined, but I have those absolute value bars. So I have, I'm going to have absolute value of 3 there. So I end up combining constants here with a negative 2 plus 4 natural log 3. And we're done.